Hey y'all, so today is well tonight. It's um it's 8 30. So I stopped by my boyfriend's house. So I decided to pull out the camera. It's been a long a long weekend. But I want to show you guys these juices that I picked up from my girl Tiffany Jackson. She's local. So <clears throat> these are the two juices right here. Um, I've seen her advertise them. It's like detox juices. I've seen her advertise them on um, Facebook. Well, she wasn't advertising. But she was posting that she was making them. So I'm actually going back to read to you guys what's actually in them. Okay, so the green one is green ginger ale. That's what it's called. Um, so it's like apple, celery, cucumber, ginger, and lime. And I want to say, I can't remember what was in this one, but I'm going to, um, I'll ask and then I'll put the, um, ingredients in the description and so i stopped by i stopped by the dollar store because i've lately i've been having this obsession with pistachios because i have been trying to only get my protein from nuts or um like protein supplements but i can't have protein shakes i want to say it says 30 to 14 days before and it specifically said herbalife which i do have some herbalife shakes at home well the product um the canisters at home but i can't make those so i was like well can i have premier protein it wasn't it just said specifically said herbalife so i don't know but i was in the dollar store against some pistachios and i don't know if this is new but I seen this Quest lemon cake bar. It's 20 grams of protein, four net carbs, only one gram of sugar, and 15 grams of fiber. Baby, between this protein bar and this juice, I'll be good to go. And it's only 180 calories. If you guys was, if you guys are curious, 180 calories. I do um calorie count I'm not so deep into like counting exact macros but I do calorie count I do count my net carbs and if you don't know what net carbs are it's basically your dietary fiber subtracted from your total carbohydrates so on here it says total carbs is 24 grams but your fiber is 15 so you would just subtract um 15 from 24 which which is 9 but it has erythritol so erythritol is basically a sugar alcohol that does not digest in your um in your blood is it in your bloodstream basically it does not uh, raise your um glucose level so since it doesn't digest into the bloodstream it doesn't raise your glucose level it doesn't count it's the sugar alcohol so if you have nine net carbs just left from your fiber subtracted from your total carbs and you subtract the five grams of erythritol from the nine grams you're left with four net grams or well, four net carbs so this this bad boy is not bad at all and i'm gonna give it a try I, i'm having a sweet tooth so and then it tells you right here how to subtract it um, focus Are we gonna focus? There we go. And it shows you right there how to subtract it. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. I'm going to tag her um, in uh, the description box. I'm gonna put her information on there if she, you know, is okay with that. Come on, camera, focus. Maybe I gotta be still. There we go. So um. 
yeah i'm about to i'm actually gonna um start these tomorrow i'm gonna drink one tomorrow probably after i work out since i'm off for the next two days yay so countdown it's march 6th so i got 15 more days until the day of my surgery um so i'm excited I'm, I'm i'm really excited i'm nervous not gonna lie i'm doing a lot of research i'm gonna have a supply list coming up um on things that i'm actually adding to my amazon cart stuff that i'm picking up stuff that i need stuff that i'm hearing that i don't need so we'll just see we're just really kind of playing it by ear i don't want to overdo it and overspend because my whole thing right now is trying to figure out massages so yes you get three massages i want to say for 250 at mia and then you can add i think they're 85 dollars a massage so you can actually add on extra ones if you want extra massages which i'm probably gonna end up doing but i'm trying to find one here down in my area which i might end up having to reach outside my area but i'm thinking if i learn the technique and seeing how they're doing it i might just end up doing my own drain lymphatic drainage massages um and just make sure that i'm sterile with everything and i might end up buying the cavitation machine because i seen they said mainly when you have a tummy tuck with lipo you're gonna you're gonna need that extra cavitation because the the basically the vibration and the heat to kind of break up the fluid to push it down so far it's kind of hard but you just want to kind of like push it down push all the fluid down of course um i'm assuming i'm gonna have two jp drains um um from hip on each side of the hip i'm assuming um most surgery um most people that i've seen that come out of that surgery have the drains um so the fluids will be draining from there but um, i'm gonna order, um, order arnica tea arnica gel and the tablets i don't know if i need all that but i'm gonna have the gel because i know it helps with those massages and there's some other oil that i've seen on amazon that i think i'm gonna get with the massages but other than that yeah i'm gonna uh i'll post um at some point in this series a, a list i might just do like one whole episode of the stuff that i'm gonna take with me um and we'll just see how that goes i'm still trying to figure things out but with the massages i might just end up saving a few dollars because it seems like a lot of like one massage is damn near a hundred dollars and if you're supposed to be getting let me read you so the first week you get your massages daily this is what they recommend um, week two through four, you want to get them at least three times a week, five and six, two times a week, seven through 12, once a week. So basically, you just need to be massaging yourself every day and then after that week, every other day, um, maybe even twice a day, depending on your body. But I'm definitely going to, I want to be thorough because I don't want fibrosis, which is hardening of the tissue. I do not want that um i want my skin to be soft i just want everything to just heal nicely and look as natural as possible i know i'm gonna have a scar don't care about the scar i will do um wound healing and scar treatment but i'm not really so worried about that as long as it's not it doesn't get infected which i'm gonna be very sterile um i'm very ocd about that anyways hence you know me being a nurse so um very OCD about that but anyways guys anyway guys I just want to drop in and show you again my juices that I got in this new quest protein bar um a little update today I had four boiled eggs and I didn't even realize it this whole weekend I've been doing an egg fast which don't nobody know it's like you eat eight to ten eggs um each day you can boil them make an omelet scramble make a, a quiche however you want to do it but you eat eight to ten eggs a day you can have vegetables with it but basically that's what an egg fast is it's low carb um it's a good amount of protein eggs are very filling so i have four boiled eggs 
Um, I like mine with hot sauce. I'm just weird like that. And then I had a fruit bowl from Publix. I had grapes, which are very kind of high in sugar, but I gotta incorporate some carbs somewhere. Um, and then some pistachios. That's all I had and some water. I thought I had something else. Oh, a small cup of applesauce. Um, cause I try to snack throughout the day cause I'm not intaking that many calories and I'm not, um, and taking that many carbs and sometimes your sugar can get really low and you feel kind of depleted. So I try, I'm trying to do just healthy snacks. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to try this tonight. I'm trying not to eat after 8.30, but it's 8.39 right now. I'm going to shower, put on some Netflix, and just probably make me some hot tea. Because, y'all, it's that, that allergy. Allergy is trying to kick our butts, and I'm trying to beat it because I don't have time to get sick. But, yeah. So... Yeah, that's a little update. Now I'll just catch you guys later. Good morning, y'all. So it is. Oh, the lighting just went out. Hold on. Oh, let me sit y'all up in my boyfriend's cabinet because it's easier for me to record that way. Or, hold on. This might work. So today is March 6th. No. 7th, March 7th. Um, let me see if I scooch out back like that. Um, it's March 7th. Um, I'm actually, I've been up. Um, I just ate. I'm gonna show you what I ate. Um, I had two of these Morningstar patties. Um, because I'm actually about to go work out in a few hours. And then I had, um, this these my boyfriend bought me these i think he got them from Publix, either Publix or walmart it's garden lights brand it's a veggie no spinach egg white and frittata made with mozzarella cheese now i i love cheese but i've been trying to stay away from dairy because it bloats me all that jazz um uh, trying to get some light y'all um but yeah, so that's these. I had two of these. They're 70 calories a piece. And then two of these are 80 calories a piece. And then I had, I seen these in Publix. So I bought one, bought one of each flavor. This is not my favorite one. I, the one I had yesterday, it was like mango something raspberry peach whatever i don't know this one the original flavor is good and oh man the pineapple coconut bomb but um just coming on here y'all update that um that lemon bar It went, it went too good. I didn't really care for it, but yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't really care for it. So I just been sitting here watching vlogs. Um, oh, watching Miss Jamima. Jam yeah, Miss Jamima on YouTube. Um, 15 days away, God. 15. No, it's the seventh. Y'all can't count. It's March seventh, and tomorrow is my mom's birthday. So, I have a few ideas in mind. But um, no, fourteen days away. Oh my God! Literally two weeks. I'm two weeks before my surgery oh my god this is this is oh um, this is the cut this literally is oh wow it's just sitting in it's two weeks so um i really have meant to talk to you guys 
about something last time I was trying to record. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually put it in the video, but let me pull up that email because yeah, me aesthetic. I don't know what y'all doing as far as the hiring process for your team when your concierge be calling. Excuse me, my locks are like up in a bun. So that's why it's up like this. But y'all, I don't know what y'all doing with these concierge people because I swear he sound like he just got hired right before he called me. Was not feeling that. So let me cut the TV down because I want y'all to hear me. So they sent me this email February 21st, which literally was 28 days before my surgery. So they sent me this email. Um, basically talking about lab information, medications, and vitamins. Basically letting me know, hey, your surgery is 28 days away. So this is what we need you to do 30 days or less prior to your surgery. Because it's a lot of stuff they want you to stop doing before your surgery. So, um, it's like if you're currently taking any prescribed medications, you um, pretty much want to stop doing that any nicotine, tobacco, um, controlled substances, THC. They're saying THC won't be a reason for cancellation. You just wanna stop smoking it 30 days before. Um, don't take any medications with ibuprofen. Um, only treat with Tylenol Extra Strength, no birth control or Nuvarine. Um, All vitamins that they do recommend you to take, they want you to stop taking them. Um, which was, I want to say, folate acid, iron, vitamin C. It was one more vitamin. I can't think of the name of it. Um, but pretty much stop taking all vitamins. And not even a multivitamin. You can't take that. Um, piercings, um, you have to take those out. Or you can replace with plastic. I don't know if I have a plastic nose ring, a retainer. Um, cause this is the only one I'm worried about closing up, but all the rest of them I'm not worried about closing up, but my nose ring probably will. So I probably have to go to Spencer's and get me one. Um, your depot, if you take depot has to be done 90 days before surgery, or you can reschedule 30 days after your surgery. Um, scheduling for pre-op surgery and post-op massages. Um, basically they'll call you 24 to 48 hours before your surgery to give you the time to arrive. So how mine is falling is on the 21st of March. So it's on a Monday. My pre-op and my surgery is on the same day. Crazy, right? So they'll actually call me Friday, which is the 18th. They should call me for a I'm gonna call them. I need to call them today. Um, your pre-op is between 9 a.m. and 6 on um, Monday through Friday. Um, no, before your scheduled surgery. Um, basically, let's see, you're responsible for taking any accessories or purchase. Um, um, you're t responsible for taking any accessories purchased before leaving your appointment. Accessories are non-refundable. So that's the only thing I had to pay for, my accessories and my massages, which I'm going to go ahead and book massages um, throughout the whole week. Um, your vitals um, will be checked the day of surgery. Um, so your BMI has to be the 32.0, not 32.1. 32.0 or lower so that's why when they called me to let me know that my labs were clear but she was like yeah but the way that they sent in when you got your ekg done you need to lose some weight she's like it's not that much weight you you know to lose you just want to get your bmi down and maintain it so i have two weeks it's getting real 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 um your blood pressure cannot be elevated um they will do a pregnancy test nicotine and tobacco test and control substances um uh, if you fail it's a 500 dollar fee for the nicotine and for control substances it's 1500 dollar fee 
Um, and the fee is for cancellation and rescheduling. Um, they talk to me about payments and finances, but basically your surgery has to be paid off if you are doing cash the day of surgery. Um, if you're doing credit, I want to say it has to be done 14 days prior to surgery. Um, that way it clears in time. Mm. And he basically was telling me stuff that I can stuff to bring with me I'm still ordering some stuff but as far as right now well I, I put stuff on my cart but I really need to go ahead and buy it it's just whoo it's always so much more money um so I got the Arnica gel. I bought some masks. I might take these out because we got some masks at home. Um, the I got some silicone foam dressings to go around my belly button area. But I'm thinking I probably can find those dressings at um a CVS. Cause these are twenty five dollars. Um, some Steri strips. Uh, which I'm probably not gonna get these either, but I put I put these in the um in my basket, and these are just um soft foam um earplugs, but I put them in my basket because I want to do belly button training, so I got just a big jar of them so I could just change about every time I clean my belly button. I also put a shower chair in there because I know it's going to be hard for me to shower. And it's best that I sit down. You can't really stand up. Because I will be bent over. And I have my walker at home. I'm going to show you guys my walker when I get home. I got some chuck pads. Disposable pads. And I'm going to actually go to... Like you can go to the dollar store. You really can get just trash bags to light. To um, I wasn't going to get a, a, a thick plastic curtain liner. To lay on the bed first, then put all the chuck pads down for any bleeding. And just a huge robe. Some Arnica tea. I did say Arnica gel. I'm going to, yeah, and have those. Um, and I got some lymphatic massage oil. Um, and a urinal. But I was told that you get a urinal with the kit, the accessory kits that you buy. So... Let me go ahead and just take some stuff out because I don't think I'll actually need all this stuff. And I probably could find it way cheaper um, Look, they're not almost $100 off of my card. I probably could find it way cheaper at... um. Like a, a Walgreens, CVS, or even Walmart. I'm so sleepy. Oh my god. But I gotta wake up. We're supposed to be going to the gym around 1. It's 11 o'clock now. Yeah. This work week. It's weekend. I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm just drained. I am. But literally literally two weeks y'all see that whole line the whole row with dots on them literally two weeks before my surgery oh my god oh my god that's crazy well i mean well three if because this whole week ain't gone by yet so three weeks including this week but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today. Um, going to the gym. I'm not sure what we actually working on. If it's legs, full body. I'm ready though. I'm probably gonna um probably gonna eat. I did buy two of those protein bars, and I'm actually oh I forgot because I took the juices home. So I'm gonna try the juices for my girl Tiffany. Um, 
I'm just gonna drink some of it because I'm not sure how my stomach is gonna handle it because I know it is a detox. I don't wanna have to detox while I'm working out. <laughs> it ain't cute. But yeah, um, I gotta schedule a hair appointment. I need a retwist, but ain't gonna lie. I might end up doing my own retwist, but I wanted a style and I'm not, I'm not the best with styling right now because I just throw it in the bun. So I need to schedule my hair appointment. So that'll be $100. And then I need to schedule, um, I wanted to get a wax before my surgery. Um, so, I was saying, I hope my girl got some days available because um, I want to schedule a wax before my surgery. That's very important. That's more important to me than getting my hair done, honestly. So I'm really just trying to be frugal because honestly, like you end up spending so much more extra money after surgery. Um, I know it's looking cloudy outside, but yeah. I'm going to come back to you guys. Oh, I know what I was saying. I was saying that I was going to try, um, we'll go ahead and eat the other protein bar before we go work out. That will be like, cause since I had just the, um, the two, uh, patties, the plant base, I want to get a little extra protein in before I go work out. Cause I'm still hungry. My metabolism is, ooh, it's, it's very healthy. But yeah, um, and I'm probably gonna do some editing today because I need to go ahead and push out episode number two. I'm not sure what episode this is gonna be, but you'll know when you see it. But yeah, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to the gym and we're gonna get into it. Bye. So I'm back home. I'm eating before I go to the gym. I don't really let my camera charge. But I tried the um the green one. I can't remember what ingredients was in, but it's definitely a drink I gotta wait to drink when I'm home. I can go ahead. I can tell you that now. Um, it's really good though. I can taste the ginger in it. It's really really good, and I love ginger. Um. So it's 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 delicious. I love it, girl. It's good. I haven't tried the purple one yet. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm y'all all in my face. I got the munchies. I don't know why. But I got about an hour or so before I go to the gym. So. I'm about to charge my battery. I just came on here to let you guys know how I like to drink. It's really good. Really, really good. Thank you, girl. Um, and for sure, like I said, um, yesterday, last night, I'm going to leave her information, her social media outlets in the description. So, see y'all at the gym. Oh well, fuck them dog. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside and I spit it with the knives. We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied. I've been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, and what you do That's why I'm not in my life with you I wanna please you, anywhere I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand?
watching this video that is meant for me to drink when I don't plan on going anywhere my camera is sliding I, can tell. I don't know I'm invested in something else but um and I just went um let's see after that I just went I'm getting a few things ready cause my mom's birthday is tomorrow March 8th um I got her a little gift um some balloons I'm trying to talk so loud um and I'll show y'all the gift tomorrow. Um, but just a little something, something, something cute. It's so hard shopping for her because she got everything. Everything. But, um, yeah, I'm tired. It's like, what time is it? 
It's literally 10 o'clock. Um, I believe I'm gonna go over tomorrow. I'm gonna go over, um, because I think we're doing legs tomorrow, but I definitely want to go over, um, my meal planning, what I want to do for the, these next three weeks, um, as far as eating and making sure that I do eat foods with iron in them because they do want you to stop taking your supplements. So, just figuring out certain things. Um, I just got finished doing some editing and I'm really sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. I just left my boyfriend's house. Um, he's not feeling too good. This little girl, she's not feeling too good. So, um, yeah, let them get some rest. I look tired and sick myself though. This rain light is like bright. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow and I might. This is the thing. I tried to schedule a retwist and it's my fault because I waited till the last minute and all the spots are gone. They gone. So, um, what I'm gonna do is do a light retwist with just some water and oil with my oil concoction. I have some lavender oil, peppermint, and sweet almond oil. And I got all those oils from GMC. They're organic. Love them i finally found a combination that works for my scalp and the shampoo if you know um i'm gonna show y'all how if you ever heard of the generic brand this is what i got so it's the tea tree oil lavender mint conditioner and shampoo and this stuff is amazing like i only used it one time and my scalp Man, feels so good. I think like for two weeks. I want to say it's been two weeks since I colored my hair. I did color my hair because for some reason when I was at the gym, I was laying on the mats and I guess whatever we sprayed on the mats to clean the mats, it kind of changed the color of my hair. But um, I do need to wash it. But that's all the update as far as like for surgery stuff and working out. But I'm going to give y'all like a little texture shot if y'all can see. I do still have curly ends. It's one on here that's not curly at all. This one. It's not curly. It's just a little bud on the end. I'm still able to do my baby hairs. It's one in the front that I need to actually, I'm probably gonna interlock. I didn't wanna buy any, um, the crochet needles, but I'm probably not gonna end up doing that, and I just need to interlock that one. But I might wait. I might wait and let Ace do it. But, um, yeah. I just got my little pineapple half up, half down. It's like, and this is just how I style my hair between retwists but i'm probably just gonna do a retwist with just water and oil um and it's just that simple i did a slight retwist one time me and my boyfriend was gonna get ready to go out to this comedy show in columbus and my hair was a mess and i did a slight retwist and i did good but i ended up washing my hair out because again my scalp was getting flaky and itchy and at the time i didn't know how to control it but now um with the concoction that I have with the the shampoos and my oils. Um it definitely has been lasting me, but right now my scalp is flaring back up. So it's time for me to wash, which is really sad because I'm the type of person that likes to do my hair and leave it alone. So I'm trying to I guess train my scalp to not um I don't know, I'm just trying to train my scalp. Hopefully it gets to the point where I don't need to put on any, um, or wash my hair that often because of dandruff. And, um, yeah. So we're gonna look into that. I don't know, I just got, I don't know. 
but yeah i'll probably end up doing a hair tutorial um retwist tutorial um i'm a little over three months so yeah i might just do my it could be considered my second retwist but i'll show you guys how to do it so i had to do some research and knowing like what if i retwist it in the wrong direction like is it gonna mess up my lock but it's not gonna really lock it's gonna wash out um that's why i was considering interlock but then i'm scared because i don't want it to thin out my locks because i don't have um how can I spit? I have thin follicles, but I have a lot of those follicles. So, like, my strands are thin, but I have a lot that makes sense. So, I don't want to put so much tension or whatever on my hair to lock. But, y'all, it's amazing. It's the best decision I ever made. Like, you see how, like, my ends are still springy on some. And like this one, this one's a whole bud. It's a whole bud, if you can see on the end. So some of the curls clumped up, which is fine. Like each lock is unique on its own, but I'm really enjoying the journey. Good night. Just good night.